Good day, non-corporeal carnies. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Psychonauts. It's episode 22 of Psychonauts. Thanks very much for joining me. Last time out, we had confronted the evil Dr. Lobato and gotten rid of him. And then we confronted Coach Oleander inside a brain-powered tank and defeated him. But unfortunately, we sneezed our brain out and we've ended up in the tank with Coach Oleander. And as a result, we've ended up with some weird meat circus hybrid inside of Raz's mind. Now we are tasked with... Oh, we've got a ghost trying to call out to us, too. And so now we have to go to there, into the conveniently glowing circus tent when it wants to render. I restarted the game. It's not helping, so we're just going with it. Um, sorry about that if that aggravates you slightly, but we're, we're just getting through to the end of the game and... You know, old games, right? They uh, aren't always the best on modern systems. I mean, part of it's my fault for upgrading to Windows 10. That was a mistake. And I should probably look at switching back to 7 at some point. But anyway, computer illiteracy aside on my part, let's carry on with Psychonauts into the tent. We have to protect Oleander from something. Gotta help me save the bunny! Okay, we've gotta help him save the bunny. Still, I could catch him and hide him from my dad! He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. Oh, that's right. Mari's old man was a butcher. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Uh, what the? You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Ah! Help! Oh, so we're just going to let him get attacked straight away? That's a nice game. That's a ladder. So we're going to... No, you're not. We're gonna shoot you. We're gonna pick up some figments while you got a chance. Running kids. Circus stuff. I'm trying not to use all my ammo. Ah, oh, but it'll give me some ammo back. Elephant. Man, there's so much trippy shit happening in here right now. Hey, you didn't give me any warnings that guy was coming out. Ah, there we go. We got him. Are you not planning to... Are you not planning to catch that thing? Anytime soon, coach? It ran right by... Oh, do I have to do everything for you? Here, here. Get the damn bunny. Oh, hang on. I gotta save you from... Demented bunny monsters. Oh, I can't throw him. I just have to hold him in place and hope that Oleander can get to him quickly enough. There we go. I got you, Mr. Bunny. Wait, what? How could you fly? Why are you flying? <sighs> Shut up. I don't want to deal with you. I've got to find a way up. Hey, that hurts. Oh, crap. He's being attacked. Hi. Um... Woo! There, that worked. Bugger off, ya! Freak. Can I... It's like... Is it doing... Oh, that was me. Oh, um, hi. Do I have a tag for you? Yes, I do! Alright, that was the first tag we picked up. So, that's a nice, happy music break for us in between, uh... Demented Butcher Shop Monsters and... Ah! Oh, demented Butcher Shop Monsters! All right, you've cornered him, Mori. Oh, you had him cornered, Mori. Good frickin' work. Now I gotta... Hang on. I'll... Get him, get him, get him quick! Get him quick! Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny! Oh, he's got one of those propellers on his hat. 
What? And you could... I mean, that kid... See, here's the thing. Kid's fat. He's fat! Now. Where did he go? Oh, I'm guess... Shut up. Okay, never mind. Who designed this thing? Ah, oh, f*** ah. off. Hey, that hurts! Hey, that hurts! I think we might have lost simply because... Hey, that hurts. My face. Who designs a level that you've got to platform your way to? Help. Now where the hell is he? I see where he is. I don't see how I'm... Oh, there. There we go. That might be the dumbest piece of level design I've ever... It, okay, in this game, for sure. I'm not going to say I've ever seen, but that's the dumbest piece of level design I've seen in this game. It's just like, what the hell is that? Now, what? At least, I mean... Well, all right, let's just try and plat 3D. Doesn't even give you a chance to get over there. What the hell is this? What on earth? Oh, the wait, those stick. Ah, now I gotta wait for that thing to come back around. So am I supposed to spin on it? Why don't you twirl on it, you fool? Help! Nope, that didn't work. I think I've lost. Oh, but good. I got a... I got a figment. Fantastic. No, get off this... No, get off it! Now where am I? This isn't... Oh, it set me back to where I was before. Like, honestly. Where'd the, where'd the, where'd the knives go? Okay, well, this one's a failure. And we're starting from, you know what? I'm starting from here, but uh, I'll see you guys back up where I left off. Okay, I've... No, what the hell? Why is there a hole there? Am I actually going to make it there on time? Alright, rapid fire. Alright, success. Somehow, someway. Just as I'm about ready to snap on this game. <laughs> All right, whoever designed this level better not be involved in Psychonauts 2. Uh, all right, now now what? Get lost. Oh wait, there's no um, there's no health meter. That's good. Bugger off. Now, how do I get over there? And... There! Success! Ooh! Just dodged the... We, we save bunnies! <gasps> well, we saved a bunny. Time for the main event! Come on! No. No main event, Dolly. You ain't worth the trouble. Oh, there's a... Occasionally rendering this thing. Vault! The Big Top! Oh, there's Ollie in his uh, happy meadow. 
Oh, they're, uh, looks like a prison outfit. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, uh, bunnies inside the cages and not bees. Aw, oh, and he's happy with his fluffy bunnies. And then one day is, and see, that's not something you hear from many people who grew up on farms and such. A lot of people who grew up on farms saw the... I, I know a few people who did. I mean, being from... Functionally, for a lot of people, what we considered the middle of nowhere. Or at least for a lot of people I know, it's the middle of nowhere. And a lot of people who lived on farms appreciated the role of the animals. And they liked the animals, but they also appreciated that their role was to be food eventually. So, it's an interesting young... Ollie might have not understood that so much, but most people I, like I said, most people I met who lived on farms at some point or another kind of understood the role of animals on farms. They were there for production rather than, you know, for pets. They wanted a pet, they had a dog. But we're talking about, yeah, I know bunnies can be pets too, but that's not kind of what we're going for. This is my favorite ride! The Tunnel of Love. <laughs> well, I mean, it can't be as bad as the last one was, right? It can't drive me to that brink of insanity. Hey, all mental cobwebs cleared. Thank you very much. So pick up some figments. Uh, ignore the freaky. Oh, there's a purse. Tag that bag. You know, for some reason, that never gets old to me. I'm, I'm sure if you've played Psychonauts plenty of times before, you probably skipped that. Or and would prefer I skipped that, but eh, I think it's kind of neat. Also, I hear the coughing of a knife thrower. This is just... You know, is it just me or does it seem like we've kind of wandered into a Lynch movie at this point? Oh, we get a telekinesis upgrade at 65. I don't know what rank we're at. Oh, and we've tagged uh, this bag. I think we are still, yeah, the tartan luggage at the start of the level are short on, though. So we've got to find a bitten bob for that. Hey. Yeah. Oh, we have to grind along this? I can do that. I think. Oop. We'll do that jump. Ah! Okay, maybe I didn't have to do that jump. I'm dead. The first jump worked, the second one just kind of carried me on straight. Alright, let's try that one again without the jump. I, I hope this isn't a trial and error thing. Because if it is, I'm boned. No, I had to jump there, and I didn't jump, and... Alright, there. Now, if we don't jump here, I miss it. Alright. I don't... I... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're not losing lives, though. Honestly, whoever designed this should be shot. Well, fuck! Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh, we've made it! After many, many, many tries. I'll uh, let future Steve count the tries to put it for you on screen right now. But suffice to say, um, you know, they've done a good job with designing the levels thus far. And, uh, I mean, it kind of scares me for anybody who is interested in back Psychonauts 2, because, like, all the different level varieties and all the different mechanics and all that. It's going to make programming it again, you know, for an alleged 2018 release. You know, crowdfunded, going to make it difficult. I mean, we saw how much scope creep kind of set back um, Broken Age. That was the Double Fine Adventure Broken Age. And increased the expectations and ended up kind of underwhelming folk. And, you know, you kind of like, eh, it's like I could easily see how the same... Thing would befall 
Psychonauts 2. But anyway, let's uh, let's bag this or tag this bag. I can't help but wonder. Uh, in the comments, Cargo warned me about a level that nobody liked. Now, it could just be me. It could entirely just be me. But I'm starting to think... This is the level he was talking about, not Glorious Theater. I didn't like Glorious Theater. But I, I really am not liking this level right now. Saving game. Why are we saving the game? Shit, this is bad. No, if it's... If it's telling me it's saving the game, something bad's coming. Help! You've got to help me protect the bunnies! Hey, hey, little Oli. It's okay. Those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No! It's not safe! He's coming! Who's coming? My dad. Your dad? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing! Nothing but food! Oh my. Little bunnies. <laughs> Don't run or else daddy's gonna kill ya. <laughs> Sorry, that's supposed to be threatening. I mean, mm, oh no, what worry, uh oh. And so on. What's with the teeth in the middle? Okay, well at least it's helping with the camera perspective. Let's run! Ah ha ha! The um, the uh, this thing. Oh no, I thought it was gonna slice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nah, no. No, that didn't work. Alright, so he's vul- ah, shoot. He's vulnerable. Oh, that takes two and a half points of health. When he does that, when I get hit with the. Oh no. How do you hit him? Not like that. Alright, run! So he's vulnerable when the cleaver hits the ground like that. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, there we go. Now he's gonna... I'm struggling with my 3D platforming at the moment. Oh, no. Alright, let's keep running. Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> I didn't even see that coming because I'm too close to him. I'm thinking too much physical attack. Now he's gonna come back with me at a, with a... Horizontal slash like that. What if I try pummeling him from? No, no. I think I gotta get in close and hit him. Nope. No, I don't. All right. And now, what if I just ah judo chop him in the face? Very good. All right. So we've got a plan. We're going to run up to him. So we gotta wait two more attacks, because every fourth attack, it goes horizontal slash, 180 degree ish cleaver. Oh, no, never mind. We'll land on his shoulder and karate chop him in the face. Okay, that's an easy enough attack pattern to learn. Seriously, I know I said something about David Lynch earlier, but I mean, it's like that ghost is like, randomly we've got ghost. Or else da daddy gonna kill ya. Why, why'd you stop? Oh, crap. There. Ha. Judo chop to the face, and victory is mine. Or, what? Okay, it's not. Never mind. I spoke too soon. The hell was that? Well, I've been thrown out the side of the. <sighs> God damn it! Now what? What's going on here? What have you done to our circus, Dad? 
bad. Polluted. Perverted. This looks like the work of mentalists. I can explain. Uh, I would say it has to deal with butchers more than mentalists. Psychics. Fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water. Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin. And me. But I'm going to live. You know why? Because I'm still an acrobat. Let's see if you are. <sighs> Good. 3D platforming section. What's it going to be, son? Die in the water? Or show me what you got! What do you mean, die in the water? Uh, more of those stupid knife thrower dudes. I could see it at the top of the screen. I don't want that in my life. Okay. So Raz's old man's got some moves. But, oh, that's what he means by die in the water. Because the water's rising out of the diving pool there. Yay! Don't drown. All right, there. Now I gotta. Woo! Now where do I go? No, I have to go on to this thing. Rick, up here! Before the cold, cold hand of fear pulls you under. All right, there we go. No, I have to go up again. Now, where do I go from here? Oh, we go along here. Oh. He's lobbing it up, all right. Ah, the stupid camera! That was a dick move, because all of a sudden you're going one way, and then all of the camera just decides to change perspective on you. So you go with the perspective of the camera. Alright, there we go. Now we're gonna climb on the outside of this stupid thing. And into the side of that stupid thing, I might add. All the way back here. Kiss my ass video game. Oh, come on. Wait, I don't even see where I am. Oh, I'm on the inside somehow. Honestly, at this point, I don't even care about the damage. I think I can... I can handle that. Now I have to get over to there. How? I don't freaking know. And we gotta go through here. Up, up, up. Is he throwing shit at me again? Oh, come on, just make it grab. Come on, yo. All right. Oh, no. Uh, I'm out of health, basically, at this point. Oh. Climb faster, Raz. Climb faster! Well, I mean, it's a nice break. We could take a pause for the cause as we're climbing up this ladder. Is there no sprint button for this? It's very sinister sounding music. 
Apparently, the uh, composer of Psychonauts was also someone who worked on... Like, uh, I forget his name. I'll fly it at the bottom of the screen. But he also did a lot of work on a lot of LucasArts games back in the day. Long-tenured LucasArts employee. And uh, did a lot of Star Wars games. As you can tell, it's kind of the Star Wars influence in some of this. Dad, I made it! You cheated! No! I used the acrobatics you taught me! Don't lie to me, cheater! You crystal ball readers always cheat! You're no son of mine. And... Okay. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, are you okay? Where's your dad? He's over there, talking to your dad. He did what? Uh-oh. Somebody's going to get grounded! Make that ground! <laughs> oh, you made that pun before I could. You bastard! Alright, it's round two. Oh, he's got flaming cleavers this time. I'm basically out of health at this point, so I'm expecting a quick death. Yep, there we go. I think I needed that, though. Let's be honest. So we know he's got the... Oh, wait. That's good. Nope. I was going to say he's got the same attacks. Ah. Except you can't see it coming because... Oh, crap. No, oh, there we go. I think I've got an idea, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea. No, it didn't quite go as well as I'd hoped. One eternity later. Alright, there we got one. I mean... Only cost me two lives. I, I, it, it's just kind of a. Here, you need to, in order to be able to damage him, you need to hit him when he's with a spiky thing when he's kneeling. The problem is, is you need, well, you need him to hit, you know, have him hit that thing where he's kneeling, and you need one of the spiky things near it for that. And it's just like... And you need to be able to find yourself in position to do that. It's really incredibly difficult. And you've got that randomly happening too. I mean, it's just like, and it's gonna reset him to full health, isn't it? I cannot say I'm a huge fan of this bot. Oh great, so he's gonna immediately hit the ground. Why do I have arrowheads? Like, I mean, I don't need arrowheads. I'm never gonna cash them in. There we go. Ah, got him. Oh, into the meat grinder you go! Oh! Rasputin! I see your skull is as hard to penetrate as ever. Dad! What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with, psychics? He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics! Is that really? Is that really how I look in your mind? Man, do I hate psychics! And seeing my son happy, I hate <laughs> psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you, and to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic, if you're psychic too? Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. I have a lot more hair than that. <laughs> son. We have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. 
Why do I get the feeling something bad? Yeah, something bad is about to happen. Oh my. Unweave? Detangle? Never. I like it this way. I mean, look at how huge I am. And I think I can juggle now. <laughs> This is your mind, so you are the strong one here. But I'm about to give you, my son. You must take care of it, because it's everything I've got. What's he... doing? Make my terror grow? No, he's sort of a giant psychic projection of himself. And we've gone outside into some sort of, like, hellscape. Aha! Take- oh crap! Aha, you missed me. Ah, uh, you missed me again, two-headed- two-headed dad monster, it said. What the? Was I really that low on health? Or is that just a one-hit kill? Alright, well... We'll pound on the two-headed dad monster's giant Rasputin. Alright, there we go. Oh good, it's dropping arrowheads, like I said last time. That helps a lot. Oh, now it's turned back in because we're about to grow. We're on a timer there, as you can see in the top right. Now we gotta run. Get a little distance. I swear the screen just went darker. I'm not sure if that's just my screen dying or if it is something going wrong with this. Because it seems to have suddenly gotten darker. Oh, we should be able to get him this time. Hit him with the uppercuts. You're Floyd Mayweather and he's Conor McGregor. Or at least I assume that Conor's getting his ass handed to him in the fight. Still two or three weeks to the fight when I'm recording this. Two weeks to the fight when I'm recording this. Uh-oh. What was I saying about this turning into a lynch movie? This is definitely something out of Twin Peaks. So did we detangle it, or is that just the mind collapsing in on itself? Huh? Uh, bunnies! No! No meat! Ah! <laughs> no more. No more meat. Look. There you go! Good little bunny! <laughs> Hey, thanks for helping me save the bunnies, and for talking to my dad. Uh, no problem, little Oli. Bye-bye! Wave goodbye, Mr. Bun! <laughs> Where's he going? We're separating the brains now, Rasputin. He'll be fine. Let's go inside. Man, I can't wait to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this... Lily person. <laughs> Poked around quite a bit now, didn't he? And so, that brings us to the end. Where, yes, it does. You can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in catch scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. Mistakes have been made, but this camp is all about education, and I know I, for one, learned plenty, thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. 
This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else long before he came here. Aww. <laughs> and give him this to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? <gasps> <gasps> What's with the hair? This is not how he would picture his hair. <laughs> and all is well that ends well. Okay, let's be perfectly clear about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um, well... Bye. So he still doesn't understand the concept of emergency. Of There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. You saw me. No, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad. Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey, what are all you people doing in my kitchen? Now get! Guess we're taking the jet. There's a Psychonauts jet? Of course there's a Psychonauts jet. Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? I've taught you everything I can, son. Now... You go show them. Show them all. Aww. Let's go. <laughs> that's one way to get onto the jet. So I guess this is why everyone was talking sequel, because there's sequel bait right in there. I guess it explains why the, um... Limited art I've seen for Psychonauts 2 includes, well, everybody looking about the same. So that will do it for Psychonauts. Oh my god, Sasha and Benita Soleil had the same, well, I guess it was a deep-voiced Benita Soleil. Anyway, yes, that will do it for Psychonauts. So, as I want to do at the end of a Let's Play, all those bunnies. Are there bunnies anywhere else in the game besides in Little Ollie's Mind? Not that I can remember. Anyway, no, this was a very good game. I can see how everyone could be completely terrified about letting Tim Schafer have free reign over a project again. It's easy to see how it just kind of kept missing goals and missing um, missing timelines when, during development. There's such a tremendously large scope in the design of this game with all these very unique different levels that... It's, yeah, it's it quite easy to see how, oh, oh, Dwight Schultz was in there. He's uh, Mad Dog Murdoch, and uh, you remember him from Star Trek Next Generation as uh, Ridge Barkley. But uh, you can see how, like, you, there's another level that's just different from everything else. So you can see how it took so long to develop the game the first time. And it's kind of making me think, like, how long has it been since, was it, I mean, it's, only been like from now less than two years since they launched the, the uh, crowdfunding campaign it was launched in December 2015 like there's no way they're going to get it done 
in under three years. Unless they had, were well, well into it when they launched the crowdfunding campaign. I know I'm not talking about the game itself, but I'm just talking about, like, the scope of the game. Like, for just, like, an independent studio, this is... Like, in terms of the scope for the art department and the level design and all that, it's... Definitely AAA effort. And it's, you know... You know, they didn't have, you know, like, the who's who of voice acting cast that you see a lot of games get now. It's like all the money went into the art department here. And for good cause, because, you know, they did a great job designing these levels. They did a fantastic job of that. That's the highlight of this game, I think, is the variety of level design. Final level Butcher Circus notwithstanding. But I think that, you know, gameplay was... I liked how they kept incrementally introducing different elements. I'll give it that. It's a really good game. I'm just, like, in my head, like, I'm thinking the other adventure games I've played. It's better than Star Trek 25th Anniversary. It's better than Seventh Guest. Is it better than Monkey Island? It's a toss-up. I preferred Monkey Island to this. I can see how, like, actually having the platforming and having some gameplay elements in it would... Have people would lead people to prefer this to the older Schaefer adventure games. I think it's a toss up between Monkey Island and Psychonauts, to be perfectly honest. I could see why it has all the critical acclaim and why it's so beloved and why it has such a loyal following. And I could see why Schaefer gets a lot of the leeway that he gets because of how well this game was put together. I mean, sure, some of the actual gameplay elements, like I said, I think the actual platforming was probably the weakest part of this game. So hopefully they go back and clean that up when they go and build this game for, allegedly, 2018. I'll believe it when I see it. This was a very good game, and I'm glad that I finally got a chance to play it. So with that, that is all for Psychonauts. A very good first impression for a first time playing through... A uh, Tim Schafer headed game. So I can't wait to get back to some of the old Schafer adventure games. We'll be getting to the likes of Full Throttle and Grim Fandango at some point in the near future on the channel, but that's not next time. Next time out, it'll be a new game! But what does the future have in store on the channel? Well, besides another classic game, you'll just have to. I, I did say what the next game is on one of my. Final Fantasy episodes, either 28 or 30. I can't remember which of two because I just remember I said it while you were looking at the Ifa tree. So I think it might have been 30, but it could have been 28. So if you want to know what the next game is up on the channel, it's not going to be an adventure game. But I think we're going to have a little fun playing that just the same. So what is the next game? You'll just have to tune in next week to find out if you don't want to go looking through old Final Fantasy videos to find out. And that's not until next week. So until the next time, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new or if you want to see more classic games. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. If you missed out on any Psychonauts, the playlist is on the screen in the description down below. More videos to the right on YouTube.com and anywhere, anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.